Your Excellency, the President and the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, the Third Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs, uh, Generals present here, the Commander Marine Brigade, Senior Officers, the local leaders, Ladies and gentlemen, a good afternoon. Sir, on behalf of the Chief of Defense Forces, I would like to congratulate the Marine Brigade Commander, Brigadier Michael Nyarwa, and his team for their tireless efforts in building and expanding the capacity and the capabilities of the Marine Brigade. Your Excellency, in your inaugural speech on the 29th of January, 1986, you said no one should think that what is happening today is, mere change of, is a mere change of God, but a fundamental change. The fundamental change, sir, in the military perspective was to professionalize the army in a well-trained, disciplined, and equipped force. The UPDF today witnessed a significant development <clears throat> in its unwavering commitment of enhancing our capacity and capabilities for the efficient and effective attainment of the UPDF's uh, constitutional mandate and mission. This, in line, this is in line with one of the CDF's strategic priorities of capacity enhancement that involves acquisition, refurbishment, and maintenance of our military equipment. This deliberate effort for the maritime capability enhancement will enable the Marines Brigade to secure our waters, conduct search and rescue operations, and protect high profile targets such as wagon ferries, cargo ships, fuel tankers effectively and efficiently. We commend the Marine Brigade for fostering expansion with the requisite enablers and the equipment for facilitating capacity building efforts. The Marine Brigade, which began as a small entity covering only small portions of the Lake Victoria, now has tremendous expand, tremendously expanded and shown presence in the entire water bodies of the country. Your Excellency, we have confidence that this marine base will serve not only as a facility for vessel testing, but also training and aimed at aligning skills for sustaining vital assets and safeguarding equipment in the support of the search and rescue operations and ensuring navigational security to promote commerce between Uganda, Tanzania, and Kenya. Your Excellency, we recognize your great leadership and the strategic guidance you have given to the UPDF towards professionalizing the force and building of a strong cadre leadership. The Commander Marine Brigade has ably ex exhibited that cadership trait and successfully superintended over the expansion of this marine capability. Let me also take this opportunity to applaud the Ministry of Defense leadership for providing a funding line to make this capability a reality. I also want to recognize the great efforts by the engineering brigade who constructed the pier. Your Excellency, under the guidance, the engineering brigade has also built capacity and expanded its operations to the ministries, departments, and agencies. Examples of the work it's doing at the airport and at Nambole Stadium. And we do thank them for a job well done under your guidance, sir. Lastly, 
allow me to appreciate the EPDF Marine Brigade for identifying the need for this facility by escalating and following it to its logical conclusion. This is a clear testimony of good cadership and leadership in management of the government stroke defense projects. It is my pleasure, Your Excellency, to thank you and all the invited guests for gracing this occasion. I say all this for God and my country. Okay, one, two, three, two, four.